out and a good morning. Um, welcome to another vlog. This is the start of a new vlog. I'm going to do the Easter decor and get this house looking like spring a little bit more. So I thought that I would start off just by showing you um, some of them I may have shown in other pieces, but just things that I've been picking up here and there um, to add to the spring slash Easter decor. And uh, just a little refresher reminder of the neat things I picked up and where I got them from. And then I'm gonna drag my toad up and get decorating. So let me show you what I have gotten so far. I think the first thing I picked up, I was in, um, everything's a dollar and they were just starting to put Easter stuff out and I picked this up. How adorable was this for being at everything's a dollar? I just thought the beads, like the colors of them were muted. It's got that green. One of the beads is that sagey green. It's got cute little detailing with the check ribbon. And on the other end is a little cutout rabbit. They had different versions of this. There was one um, that was more toward yellow and I think it was a chick on the end. And I think there was another one and they had them for St. Pat's as well. But I just thought this one was cute with the coloring and I picked it up. So that was the first thing I got. And then I was in TJ Maxx looking and I didn't really have any intentions. None of this, I had intentions to be buying like for Easter. I didn't really think I needed to add anything. There's a mess behind me on the couch. We were laying there watching TV. Um, but anyway, I just thought this was completely adorable. This little dough bowl that's a carrot with the um, metal leaves at the end. So I'm gonna use this, I think, on the coffee table um, for remotes there. Maybe, maybe I'll change, but picked this up at um, TJ Maxx. I think it was like $10. And also at TJ Maxx, um, I picked up for the bathroom a cute little hand soap that'll fit in that holder and I have some um, of those guest towel, paper towel things to stand up behind it already um, that are Easter eggs. But I just thought the little picture on there was adorable. And then when I was in Sam's Club, I had no intention of needing ribbon either. Um, not sure if I'm gonna work this into like the porch decor or what have you. I did put this on the back door though. Oh, I need to grab that as well. I did pick up, well, I'll just show you when we do the tour. Um, also at the dollar store, I picked up one of those little, like um, cardboard, like little thin signs that they have. And I use that on the back door. I tied this ribbon on there, but I picked this ribbon up at Sam's Club when I was in there getting some stuff for the house. I get my paper goods there and that. And I just saw this and thought it was adorable with little carrots on it. And it could go even through summer with like gardening and that, but you can't beat a Sam's Club for ribbon when they have it. There's 50 yards on this roll and it's only $10 for 50 yards. So you can't beat getting ribbon there. Love to get ribbon at Sam's Club. Um, also, when I went down to Craniacs, we stopped over there at um, the Tuesday morning over there because we don't have one here anymore. I'm not sure if I showed you this or not, but I picked up this um, toil print tablecloth that's like the sagey green color and it's got the rabbits and like some garden scenes and that um so I picked that up I think it's going to be really cute on the table and it'll go good with my green depression glass um also this was from Michael's and I'm just going to stick it in like a flower arrangement but it's made out of little hydrangea petals I thought it was completely adorable so I picked that up and then my favorite place to get these pillow covers, I picked up two of these, um, ordered them through Sheen. Again, the front is like a gray check. It's got the carrots with um, the leaves at the top. And then the back is so soft and velvety and like this muted rosy pink color. So I'm gonna use these on the uh, couch, I believe. I might use them on the porch. I'm not sure, but um, Sheen, I'll link those down below because they were only like $2.40 a cover. You can't beat that. So I just love getting those through uh, Sheen. But that is what I picked up for Easter. 
Oh, and I also had picked up, I guess it's not so much Easter, but I had picked up, oh, and I went to Ivory and Birch, and I've shown you this already, um, this arrangement of spring flowers. It's got like some lamb's ear in it. It's got the McKinsey check on some of the roses, and there's, I think these are peonies maybe. Um, but I'm gonna leave that out probably through the summer. It's not necessarily just Easter, but I've got it in my little vase or pitcher from last year that was from Michael. So that is what I've picked up. Um, I'm going to go down now and drag up the tote and see what's in there and get decorating for Easter. So I will see you back when I am done and give you the full tour. So I have finally got the Easter decor done and I am going to give you a tour of what I did this year, just like I do other years. I'm gonna start at the back door here. Hopefully the lighting is good enough. I think I picked kind of an uh, overcast day to finally get to filming this, but it's Northeast Ohio. Who are we kidding? They're all overcast days to some extent. Um, in any regards, I picked this sign up this year. It's just a little Dollar Tree sign, those little like um, thick cardboard things. And then at the top here, I tied on some of that ribbon that I had picked up at Sam's Club. I think it was just adorable. Um, still haven't used much more of it. Well, one other spot in the house I did, which I'll show you, but haven't used much more of it yet, but it will come in handy somewhere, I'm sure. Plus it was just, too adorable to pass up. So that is on the back door where we come into the um, kitchen through the back steps up the dog gate. So let's head up there. All right, so as we head up in to the kitchen, um, we'll come back to this arrangement. Okay, so again, I stuck with not doing too much, um, really. I just put some Easter decor here. Um, I picked up this little burlapy carrot lavender thing last year, as well as the sign. I believe they were both at Hobby Lobby, I believe. The sack may have been Michael's, but I believe they were both at Hobby Lobby. And then I pulled out one of my um, depression glass little dishes and I filled it up with little robin eggs, those little malt balls. I like those better than jelly beans, typically. And I found these in my crate. I know some people are going to say they look like rotten eggs because they're black. But being black was just what I thought was cute about them. I'm not sure where I picked these up. They've been in the tote for a while. And I just thought this year I'd kind of set them out. They're just in a little cardboard egg crate, and that's how they had come. I still didn't eat all my fudge from the um, little flea market thing where I picked it up, that goat milk fudge. It's delicious, but I still haven't ate it yet, so it's in my cake dish there, along with some other goodies I've got stocked up there yet. But this is pretty much Easter, what I've done over here. Um, in here, I did change out the uh, hand soap for an Easter one from Bath and Body, but I'm still trying to finish up my snowdrop from Mrs. Myers. I do have um, lilac or rose I can use for the next one, so we'll see. And of course I changed my dish towel to the McKinsey Child one that I had picked up previously. And that is it in here. I think um, before after Christmas, I had said that I was trying to minimize how much I actually do because it was just so much work at Christmas and then I had gotten sick and I just had to put everything right away and not enjoy it. So I just kind of felt like I did all that for nothing. So I was trying to minimize how much I actually do put out for the rest of the year on holidays. So coming around here, I tried and tried to find a bush that I had really liked of flowers to put in here and replace these. I just couldn't find what I was looking for. I had something in my mind and I just couldn't find the right thing. So what I did was I left the flowers that were here, these dark ones. They were a little bushier. I've got them kind of squished in now. And there was some lamb's ear already in there along with these leaves 
from Michael's um, at another time. And my McKinsey B was in there and the McKinsey ribbon was already in there. So I just added in this little bouquet that I had picked up. You'll have seen in a previous video um, from Ivory and Birch, but it's McKinsey Child. And I'll link it down below. I'll link Ivory and Birch and I'll link this. You can get this on McKinsey's website as well. So I just stuck that in and tried to kind of, you know, put it toward the middle. And then this little rabbit I picked up at Michael's this year. It's just a little pick and I just stuck it in there. I thought he was adorable because well, I guess it's a she because it's pink. Um, but I just thought it was adorable given that it's like hydrangea petals. So that was what sold me on that. Next, moving along into the dining room, you'll see I did not do much, didn't do much, did enough. Um, for the centerpiece, I took the beads that were elsewhere in the house because I didn't have anywhere else to put them, so I just thought they were okay there. But I left it simple. I left the Lazy Susan here and just put my little gondola guys on there um, because there's still room then on the Lazy Susan for like some side dishes or appetizers. I left the candlesticks that I had had up before with the green and the um, silvery clear mercury glass that I got at Christmas from a friend of mine. I thought that they went well and I put my new tablecloth on that I picked up at Tuesday morning. You'll have seen in another video. I picked that up this year. I thought this would have looked perfect with um, some lettuce like plates in that because of the green and the foliage of the rabbits. I just thought that'd be cute, but I'm having trouble finding any. So I will keep on the hunt for that and see if I can find some yet, but I don't know, we'll see. They may not be something that I find this year. Um, over on the fireplace here, well, at the bottom, I did up this um, tall vase thing here. I wrapped that dollar store beading around it and kind of twisted it in so it would stay up there. And then in between the eggs, I used some um, of the Easter grass, but not the plastic kind. That's that paper. I used the paper one that's in the wrapping section. It was just from the dollar store but it looks like it's blue on camera. The eggs are blue, which may be given off that cast. They're like a robin egg blue, but that grass is actually like a mint green, so I'm not sure. Um, to the other side, I moved my goat over here. I've got my extra dog feed stacked down there as well, but I moved my tin goat that was from Tractor Supply over here, and he has some of the carrot ribbon around his neck the holiday. Probably leave that through all of spring though. So that's just cute filling out at the bottom there. And then up on top, on either end, I've got the girl and the boy of these little rabbits. I've had these for several years. Picked them up on a whim at the checkout and Dollar General and they just looked better quality than that. The um, Happy Easter sign in the middle I've had for years as well. It was from a craft store, kind of like a Hobby Lobby, but I think it was a more local to Ohio and PA. It was called Pat Catans, and they are no longer in business, but that is where I picked that up. So that's on the mantle. And of course, I had to do a display on the buffet, and I think this one's my absolute favorite. Um, around the chicken here, I just put down some lamb's ear garland that was picked up last year after Christmas, but they had it again this year in the Christmas stuff, and then it goes on sale at Michael's for like 90% off after. So look for lamb's ear in Christmas. I have no idea why they're putting it in Christmas, but that's all right. It works out for me. Um, so then this year, there's some lamb's ear. There's another garland wrapped in here as well, and some more of those eggs. You'll remember I had gotten this um, bunny doll several years ago at TJ Maxx, and she's just adorable, like a little ballerina. And then Chanel, 
I've shown in unboxings before, they send you, even if you just order one lipstick, they package them in this box that's almost like a purse shape kind of box thing and then it ties shut. So I thought what better or cuter thing to do than work that in with the little bunny doll in here. So I stuffed it full of some little flower arrangement. These were from Michael's, um, some extra lavender there and the carrots um, all from Michael's, the inside. And the Chanel box, you can get your own. Just um, order something small from Chanel and they will send it to you packaged like that. I think all I ordered there was um, a lip gloss and they sent that. And then to the side of here, I just stacked some little egg-shaped appetizer plates so that they're just there and ready. And I've got this arrangement that I had several years. I believe that also was from a Tuesday morning at one point. And that was how that came out. Let me go around and show you from a distance there, but I rather like how it came out. I think it was cute. Okay, so that is the dining room. So let's go on into the living room. You can see my little bit of mess there of the dog's toys. Well, I guess it's not my mess, it's their mess, huh? Um, so, all right, let's start here on top of this shoe cupboard. Give me one second, let me turn the light on. All right, not that it does much better because lighting in my house is dark to begin with. And as I said, it is overcast, um, but I did keep this a little simple as well. Normally these three vases and that pitcher and all that would be here um, typically right now for spring anyway. So I just added the three little bunnies in the different colors and the leopard eggs. The bunnies were from a thrift store. I've had them for quite a while. Those eggs were from Hobby Lobby a few years ago. So I'm not sure that they still have them. And I just keep my hunter boots over here all the time. So, let me show you the wreath. The wreath here is the same. I didn't do anything to change it up. It's just a grapevine wreath, and this was an egg garland. I attached it with wire and made a little bow that kind of pulled out that greeny blue color of the robin egg color like ones. And yeah, I've had that for quite a few years and it's still in good shape, so no point in changing it yet. We've got some pups down here getting some fresh air. Despite being dreary and overcast, it is kind of warm today. It's about 50, so that's good. So we'll let them do that for a minute. Um, over here, I changed out my sunflowers for some hydrangeas, some McKinsey roses, some cotton in the back, and then another McKinsey tall pick. I am not sure what this flower is. I think maybe like um, Oriental. Oh, what do you call those trees? Oh, they're popular down in DC. I don't know. I think that's what that's supposed to be. I'm not sure. Dogwood? Is that what it is? Maybe. Maybe not. I can't remember what it is. They come out in the spring. If you know, let me know down in the comments. Uh, to the side here, my bowl this is like getting out of hand with junk clutter. That's on a list, on the list to clean out and get that done. Um, last year, if you remember, I'll link last year's video down below as well if you'd like, but I had put my Easter village up here. There's so many little pieces to that village and with me saying I just didn't want to do as much, I didn't pull the village out this year. I went this route instead. Let me go backwards so you can see because that kind of goes a little high up there. I've got my blanket rack over here with my duck boots. So you need those in the spring too with the weather. But all right, so from the top, some of this is normally here, but I just changed out this arrangement. I don't remember where I got that arrangement from or when I made it up, if I made it up, but I found it in the basement when I was looking for something else. And I thought, well, we'll just use that. So I put it on top of my antique books, move my floor de lis up there and have some of my orthodox painted eggs here. This one looks like it's a little crooked. Let's fix it. Oh, it doesn't want to stay straight. Well, we'll let it be then. 
And then down further, this um, the rest of my Orthodox egg collection is down here. You could see um, this slate here in the back. I don't think I put this out last year. I think I forgot about it or couldn't find it last year. But this is like a slate from a roof they used to use as shingles. And my grandpa, who's no longer with us, his friend, I'm not sure what the friend's name was. It's signed, but I think it's just initials. Uh, I can't tell what the sign, what the name is. Um, in any regard, he hand painted that on there. Um, I mean, it's not, uh, I don't know, Monet, I guess, but for being on slate, because that's not even a flat surface, really, there's all these dips and divots. I mean, got to be talented to get that amount of detail that he was able to get in there. And then um, when we were down in Berlin last year, I found this clear plate. I liked it because it had grapes around the edges, and I always like the Last Supper for some reason. And it's just a little serving plate that's the Last Supper etched in it with grapes around the edge. So I put those up there together. We have got some pups over here roughhousing. Yeah, she's gonna get them. Um, I didn't do anything on the end tables at all, really. Um, I did change out my throws and I put those new covers on from Sheen. And then after the fact, I found the covers I had had from last year, but I'm still glad I bought these. I mean, they're cheap enough and it kind of carried that carrot theme throughout. So I'm just gonna stick with these for this year. On the ottoman here, I used the uh, dough bowl that's shaped like a carrot that I picked up at TJ Maxx. And then these little bunnies um, kind of look like they're wood. So I put them there, even though it's like a lighter wood. They're really like a ceramic. I picked them up at Dollar Spot last year at Target. I haven't even gone this year to Target to know what they have. We're not over there this year, but um, I'm sure they have something cute. They usually have something. And there's the mess that is Coco's bed over there. Um, They've been all over the place. So this is a little off. I had that blanket on the back, but I just put one of the um, summer pillow covers from last year on here as well, just to make it more spring looking. And then over here under the TV, I did put the bunny that I've had a few years now. It kind of looks like a burlap with glitter in it, but it's ceramic. And I picked that up at Hobby Lobby a few years back. Um, so I put that there. And up here, um, I got this little dog for Christmas. It was one of my little filler gifts for my parents and it was just adorable. And then I also got this stack of books for Christmas from my cousin. And I added uh, the little egg pick inside some hydrangeas in the McKinsey Child vase thing. And I think it's just a little spring look, even though it's a dog instead of a bunny. It's just a little bit of a spring vibe with the colors, at least. Just as I was showing things over to this side, I have completely left this corner empty. Um, more to come on that. I have a project that I need to drag up from the basement, a rather large project that I'm going to be working on over the coming weeks. I'm not sure if I'll film it like as I go and let it go in each week's or film as I go and then show it all once as its own video, but I am going to try to take an antique steamer trunk and cover it in Louis Vuitton fabric to make a Louis trunk. So we will be working on that soon. And then take you upstairs. The only other place that I have any type of decor is in the bathroom. So we will look at that. All right, let's head up here and see the restroom decor. I changed out um, a little bath mat to a lavender one just for spring, I guess, for spring. Um, Changed my hand towel, of course. I picked this one up at a place called Sheely's. 
um, as I did the purple mat as well. It's a local place. I changed my hand soap and also changed out the paper um, just to like a lavender and botanical thing, the paper guest napkins. Put a little gold bunny on the other side. So that was it for in here mainly. Well, in here behind actually though, I did um, change this arrangement a little bit. I brought this back up and put the little um, grass bunny pick in there. And I've got my Happy Easter Golden Egg that was an impulse buy, as was the bunny at the TJ Maxx little checkouts. So that is there. But that's it. That's about what I did. So let me know down in the comments if you went all out for Easter and did all of that, or if you just did minimal touches like I did, or if mine aren't so minimal to you, let me know that too. Um, also as well, I normally have like the outside done, but I'm having trouble finding, I know I just bought new bunning fabric last year and that, but I'm having trouble finding it and the weather hasn't been cooperating so much with going to the um, little shed behind the garage to look for it really well. I wouldn't have time to hang it up either with the way the weather's been, so I just haven't gotten to that. Um, if it does get done, then I will film it in like a regular video but it may not get done this year just because I can't find it. And I also apologize as well too that um, this video is late going out. I do fully appreciate that and apologize, but it's just, I've been so busy. Just a lot of other obligations and different things going on. I just didn't have time to film it and get it put together and get it out. So apologies that this is going out two days late. Um, so that's why I subscribe. Sometimes I'm not right on my actual schedule. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. I try and publish on Tuesday mornings, weekly vlogs, but it doesn't always happen as it didn't this week. So, all right. Well, thank you for watching and I will see you next week.